Hi, my name is Tobias Mountain. I'm 22 years old and I'm currently a children's entertainer. My name is Shalaka, I'm 18 years old. I'm on a gap year at the moment. I'm Maria Manyanga. I'm Katie Nyarenda from Rumpi, Malawi. I'm volunteering with the Progression Malawi. Hi, my name is Hattie. I'm 21 years old and I'm a third year medical student. A typical day is getting up, going to labs um, and for my research projects. Going back to my old school to talk about university applications and then handing out a lot of CVs to try and get a job. I usually wake up at 5am every day um, and the first thing that I do soon after getting out of my bed is um, to do the household course and I prepare the breakfast for my younger brother. My biggest task of the day is uh, cooking. That's how I have to prepare the food for the whole family from morning up to evening. I sweep the yard, I sweep the house, I go fetch water, fetch firewood, and the biggest task is cooking. Clean and safe water to drink. Maybe there can be racism issues um, because it is a very um, multicultural kind of population when we're around. Another challenge is having enough food in the community just because there's, there are no industries and there's little economic development so that there are no jobs and people are struggling to survive. For a lot of people, it's quite difficult to uh, get good advice on like careers and university applications, that sort of thing. A high rate of school dropout for the girls into early marriages. So this hinders the development of the of the community since more girls they don't get educated. My grandma has unfortunately got Alzheimer's, so I um, go home and kind of help with um, help my granddad to look after her when she's at home, and um, just help with general things like that, really. Um, in my family, I do look for my younger brother. Since he's young, he goes to school early in the morning. I have to prepare everything for him. I have to wash for him. I, got, I have to, uh, to bath him. Since he's still young, he can do it. He can do it on his own. The person I quite often go to is my mum, um, who's like the fountain of all knowledge. She, she's very reassuring and quite often just help me as a sounding board to chat through any concerns that I might have. Um, when I get a problem, uh, most of the times it's my mother who helps me solve the problem. The first person I go to, like I imagine everyone, is my mum. Um, she's a good like back support for me, which is really good and she's helpful and I love her. Mostly my parents and not me. It's a mutual joint decision in our house at the moment. It's my father who mostly takes the decision, makes the decision in the family. Even though my mother can do it, but maybe in the absence of my father. My grandmother, just because she's the only person in the family, she's the decision. Uh, when I went on my ICS placement, I met this woman who was absolutely amazing. She had been given a loan by Simakai to help start her own business, to help her and her family. And uh, Simakai gave loads of these loans to people to help them start up. And she was one of the first and one of the only people to repay back her loan and do really well with the business that she started up. Another lady that was very inspirational um, out in Zimbabwe, she'd basically raised five orphans from basically babies through to uni and it was quite inspirational just to see how positive she remained about everything. As a young girl living in the community where there is a lot of challenges, um, I'm also inspired. I have my own inspirations. That's I want to become a um, professional nutritionist. Well, I'm a third year medical student, so my kind of aim in life is to be the best doctor that I can really. not having the resources, for example, in my beds, um, access to medication, things like that. Though I have this spirit of, of achieving this goal, um, there is a lot of barriers. We have only two institutions which provide uh, nutrition education here in Malawi. So as for me, this feels that be a big barrier. Uh, for the opportunities, I do have the opportunities to, to, to achieve my goal. 
since I'm very good in biology and physical science, so I think that's not a big deal for me to, to fail achieving my goal. That's it. Okay.